Hi everyone, hope you're doing well from whatever you're watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, yesterday, William Ruto was celebrating his 57th birthday. So it was a happy birthday for William Samway Ruto. And um, during that day, the first lady, Rachel Ruto, decided to celebrate her husband of course, using her social media platform, sharing some of the photos when they're enjoying their time, and they're telling William Ruto what she would want to tell him during that time. I think this is the first um, birthday Ruto is celebrating as the president. And I was interested in two things. Number one, the statement from the first lady and the reactions from Kenyans. I'm telling you, if you go and read that statement, then you check on in the comment section what Kenyans are telling Rachel Ruto, what they're telling Ruto, and what they think about that time. I'm telling you. It is sad. People are not helping Ruto to celebrate. Instead, they are lamenting and they have bad wishes for William Ruto. I even decided to select specific comments and uh, there are other comments that I, I cannot just bring on this platform to read here. But I'm telling you, this is a bad indication for Ruto, for Rachel Ruto and the entire family. Because, you know, when we are celebrating such a time, people should join you in celebration. And those who don't like, they just need to keep off or silent. Instead, the opposite is happening. This is what Rachel Ruto uh, posted on her ex, formerly Twitter. Happy birthday, Bill. My cherished friend and confident. On this momentous day, we celebrate your birthday and uh, our wedding anniversary. I am filled with gratitude. Reflecting on the journey we've shared, I am, I am reminded of a verse from the Bible. There are three things that will endure, faith, hope, and love. And the greatness of this is love. First Corinthians 13, 13. Kwakweli mambo ni matatu. Now she has gone on Ruto's phrase of Mamba Nematatu. Your love and support have been a true blessing. Thank you for being a constant source of joy and strength. That is the super message from Rachel Ruto to William Samuel Ruto on his birthday. I want us to go to the comment section before I say anything on this we read what Kenyans are telling Rachel Ruto, what they're telling Ruto, their reaction, their views on the same. But, if, but before we go deep into that, just a quick request. For those who are watching and you have not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing. To our returning subscribers, Master, thank you so much. And again to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much and back to this discussion. Now to the comment section. I have some views from Kenyans. I will not read everything because of time. George, this is what he's telling Mama Rachel Ruto and William Samuel Ruto. At 57, he should reduce the lies and the embrace truth. He has no business lying anymore. Also, do less Bible role, role play and practice what you preach, what you are preaching. God hate liars and pretenders. Shalom, hakuna, cha happy birthday, hapa. And when I read that statement, you see, these people have been quoting the Bible every time. They do more of the Bible quote, but they never put it in practice. They never walk the talk. They only talk, 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 talk without action. He has just nailed it. By the way, at 57, you are heading to 60. That means you are a grandfather or grandmother. 
There's a possibility you can be. But imagine you are a grandfather who lies whenever you think, how you think, and how you want. That is William Ruto. He lies. So when I'm going to be at this age, you should reduce lies and embrace truth. Be truthful. <laughs> That's the message here. Eric Musau at Mama Rachel Ruto and William Ruto. Tell him to stop billing us. You can see the photo he used. It explains a lot. Another comment here. Can someone please get our first lady a fashion designer and a manager? Please allow Aombe Bill because he lies a lot. <laughs> At, during such a time, the best thing to do ni yeye aombe William Ruto kwa sababu ni muongo zaidi. Another comment. Ambia huyo bill ambia huyo bill wako aangalie mambo ya finance bill. Imagine it is time to celebrate a birthday but you can see the response. Lorin, mimi nimekwama hapo kwa bill. Victor, her face doesn't reflect anything close to joy. Support, love, or strength is a representation of the lack of majority of Kenyans that are suffering courtesy of Billy Nabi. <laughs> yes, the saying that she's not even happy, her face tells our problems. But the reason behind all our problem, it is her husband. Black, kumbe amekuanga to bill, bill rate, taxes. Toka kitambo, na wakenya wakabaye hiyo nonsense. Ona sasa consequences zina kama na fury, wali corrupt, eh? wali corrupt mpaka jury. Hashtag the kayo. Eric Onyango, kindly remember to remind your cherished friend and confident that Kenyans are suffering in his hands. Happy birthday to, to Rais. Message is very clear. Mwitumi, the rumors about Zakayo being a disciplinarian might just be true. Anyway, sivya nakusudia nini hiyo. The ice tells it all. Woi pole. Anyway, But now this one, eh, hey, he's sitting soma. Sitting soma here. There are other comments. Kenyans are not even wishing good to William Ruto. Comments and gine, they are, they are sad comments. But you can see, you are a president, you are celebrating a birthday, your wife is wishing you good wishes on your birthday, but the response from Kenyans, they are not with you. They don't wish anything good for you. They are lamenting. They are speaking about their situation. The problem. What you have done to make their life unbearable. They are complaining. They are even protesting in the comment. And you still, still think that you are uh, the president of the people. You still think that you are in control. You still think that you have people. You know, the issue of presidency in Kenya, in any democratic country, is all about having the people on your side. But when people see a problem in you, they see you as their problem. They see you as an enemy. And even on your wife's wall, when she posts anything, they protest. No, you are a problem. That's a rule to happen to Mambi Mefika. While he was celebrating his birthday, Kenyans were wishing, were, were wishing him something different. The wishes were sad, regrettable. Kuna wengine ata wanafikiria mamabaya kumuhusu. So imagine, Rachel Ruta Rafili na mnagani sasa. If she has eyes and ears, she can see, she can hear, let her pass the message to the husband that huku inje, ground ime shift. 
Kenyans are not with you. They see an enemy in you. They don't see a leader in you. They see an oppressor. They see a dictator, autocrat president. It's all about rejection. That is the reaction when Ruto was celebrating his 57th birthday.